Hey there, Leo. Welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So this is going to be your general mid-monthly reading for the remainder of November, okay? If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding time frames, energies, things of that nature, all that stuff should be addressed uh, within the description box down below, as well as information for my Instagram and Twitter. So if you guys would like to follow me on that on those platforms, uh, the links are going to be down there. So I'm going to roll the dice and see what I'm getting with the numbers, all right? Um, and then I will um, do a past, present, future spread with the tarot uh, and see what's going on with you guys, okay? So... We're getting two fours here. So the number eight is going to be significant to you guys right now. Um, it could be showing up a lot or maybe it has already shown up a lot um, in like your totals or something of that nature here. Um, but eights can represent balance and uh, material abundance. Um, yeah, I feel like you guys are achieving something big here. I feel like there's some news coming in, a two and a four showing up here. I feel like there's some news coming in that you guys have been waiting on. Um a one and a four. I feel like for some of you guys, this could send you packing, all right? This could be a new job or some kind of, uh, or a new move or something of that nature here. It does feel like a good change showing up though, okay? Getting a one and a five. So yeah, a new beginning here, a big change. Um, I also feel like for some of you, you're being given something. I feel like there's, yeah, there's some water energy here. I feel like some of you guys, this is help, all right? There's some kind of help coming in here that some of you may not want to accept. Um, but I feel like this could really benefit you. I think it could really make a difference here. We've got another two and a four showing up here. I feel like if this is in work or business, this could double your profits, okay? you got a five and a six. Um, for some of you, there's a Scorpio or an Aries here. What's going on with this? Or an air sign. There's someone here who's really going after something that they want. All right, someone that you're connected with here. Maybe you guys have these signs in your chart, but I do feel like there's someone here that you don't want to let go of. Um, sometimes that could be some part of yourself that you don't want to let go of when energies like this are coming up, but I feel like this is another person here. Yeah, I think for some, for some, this person could be taking advantage. I feel a little bit of cat and mouse going on here, so I would be mindful of that. I do feel like the truth is going to come to light though, okay? Um, yeah, I think you guys are going to be able to see this clearly enough again to, um, regain your footing, all right? I also feel like some of you guys could be dealing, um... I'm not a legal advisor, but I feel like some of you, I'm, I'm getting that somebody's going to be proven innocent. You're going to be proven innocent in a situation. Um, there could be an earth sign or an air sign here who could be gaslighting you in some kind of situation. So I would just be careful with that. I feel like somebody is like a professional gaslighter here. Yeah. Okay. I think we're digging. Okay. So that's the message I'm getting here. We're digging. Okay. What's going on in the past here for Leo? What's going on in the past for Leo? Six of Cups, Queen of Wands, Ten of Cups. Okay. Uh, so we're getting Scorpio. We're getting Aries. And we're getting Pisces. Okay. Somebody might be a Scorpio Sun or they might have uh, Mars and Pisces. What's going on currently here for Leo? The Ace of Cups, Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. 333 on the camera. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo. Um, the Knight of Wands, Sagittarius. And what about the future? Overall energy on the bottom, please. This is for Leo. Okay, the Hermit, Virgo Energy, uh, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Four of Wands. Okay, Wheel of Fortune is fixed, Energy Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, leading the Four of Wands is Aries, and on the bottom, the overall energy, we have the Nine of Wands. So somebody's hurt here. Um, somebody doesn't trust something here. This could be you. It could be someone that you are connected with. But I do feel a little bit of a bitter energy coming off this Nine of Wands. Uh, it's the overall. So that's going to be what we're talking about here. Um, somebody's guarded. Okay. Uh, so what's going on in the past here with the Six of Cups, Queen of Wands? I feel like there was a little bit of indecision going on here um, in the past. I like to point this out when I can see it in this card. 
and when I feel like they're, the message is there. There's a little bit of indecision here. If you look at this face that's in the hair and this face that's kind of looking up, when it comes to some kind of offer in the past here, I feel like somebody did not take an offer seriously. All right. Um, I also feel like the six of cups can be an energy. Sixes can also be an energy of like compassion, somebody who's giving, caring, kind, nurturing. Um, I almost feel like maybe it was to the point of, um, you know, somebody might have felt a little bit suffocated or felt like you were doing too much for them. Um, not that this is something that they spoke on, but I just feel like somebody felt too embraced. All right. With the ten of cups, to me, that can be an energy of embracing with those open arms up there. I'm gonna look at this a little bit more and see what this is about here. What's the Ten of Cups about here in the past? What's, what's, the, what's the Six of Cups, Queen of Wands, Ten of Cups about here in the past? Okay, we're getting the Ten of Cups again. Uh, we're getting the Four of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups, okay? Uh, so we got Capricorn, Taurus, and again, Pisces showing up here. Um, as you guys know, like when you're, when you're clutching really tightly to something, you can create an energy of resistance, okay? Uh, when you're putting something up on a pedestal. So I think that could have been something that was happening here. Uh, in the past. I think you were waiting on someone to match this energy and it never really happened. All right. I do feel this. Um, I do feel like in the past you guys uh, could have been in a space where you didn't really want to open up, didn't really want to, um, you know, embrace your feelings for a person uh, because these cities back here, this to me can be an energy of isolation, um, kind of keeping things to yourself here. Uh, so I feel like you came out of that in the past um, and it kind of led to disappointment, all right? Uh, so that sucks. Let's see what else is going on here, though, because this is an energy of the past, okay? You've got the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands showing up currently. So let's see what this is about here. Almost like some of you guys were just in a space of like all or nothing. That's just the way that some of you love, all right? It's just that you were very guarded and, um, you know, kind of uh, defensive or you're investing everything uh, is how this feels to me. But with that seven of pentacles showing up, that's somebody who's kind of stopping and looking at their investment and, you know, deciding where to go from there. Uh, because I think that you are waiting on someone because sevens can be an energy of like analyzation truth seeking, um, trying to figure out the truth of someone's feelings and if they feel this Ten of Cups uh, kind of energy with you as well. What's going on with the Ace of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Wands? We've got the Five of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the two, uh, Three of Pentacles. Aquarius, Aries, and Capricorn showing up here with these cards, clarifying what's going on currently. Um... So I almost feel like whatever offer was given in the past here, um, I feel like somebody turned away from that. With the with the Nine of Pentacles turning away from this Eight of Cups, I almost feel like there's this energy of, again, you guys, like putting something on a pedestal here. I feel like somebody believed that. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's what this seems like to me. But this Knight of Wands energy, it feels like a lot of back and forth, a lot of in and out going on here. What else is going on? See, but with the Five of Swords here, I feel like there could have been some kind of conflict too that led to this moving away from um, this Ace of Cups as well. What's going on with the Five of Swords? Okay, that's what it is. I'm looking right at it, okay? Uh, the Three of, and the, the Page of Cups on the bottom, this is a really kind, caring, compassionate kind of energy. Somebody who, um, I don't really want to call it being naive, but this is, you know, these are the children of the court cards. So this might be somebody, you might be somebody who believes that, you know, this person has the same heart as you, that they're going to give in the same ways that you uh, gave to them. And I don't feel like that is the case. I think that's something that you recognized. I also feel like the Nine of Pentacles is your energy, okay? I feel like you guys um, have gotten back to a place of stability, also being comfortable um, 
you know, being uh, single and independent and things of that nature. And then you've got this Knight of Wands kind of running at this um, Nine of Pentacles. And you got the Five of Swords here as well. So there's still an energy of conflict showing up here. And the Three of Wands to the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, can be, uh, to me, can talk about uh, teamwork. But it's a work in progress, all right? Um, and sometimes, you know, when you're working in a team, not everybody is working towards the same goal. So I feel like there's not been, a, there wasn't a lot of communication about this in the past. And with those pinnacles not being yellow up there, I feel like, you know, um, I should have led with this. But the Three of Wands is an energy of like sending something out. It's an energy of delegation. So I almost feel like what happened here was the work was being put on you, okay? And with those pinnacles not being yellow, you didn't really see any results because you were putting this person on a pedestal here with the three of pentacles showing up, all right? You were giving them too much importance and it's like you were putting your all into something here while they were just kind of not doing anything is how this feels to me. I think there was a lot of um, mixed signals going on here with the five of swords showing up. Um, and you've got this nine of wands here as well as the overall energy. So I'm just curious about where this is going here because I feel like you are in a good space for the most part. What's going on with the hermit in the future, please? The full, okay. Oh, I feel like some of you guys could be back on the scene here, all right? I think there could have been a break um, from love or from connections and relationships, and I feel like maybe some of you guys are back on the scene with that full card. Uh, back to taking leaps of faith, back to taking risks, okay? I feel like you guys are ready for something new, some kind of uh, stable commitment here with the Four of Wands, possibly. Um, for others of you, I think that you were just off the radar for a little bit, um, working on yourself, working on some healing, and I think now you were um, back on the scene. I don't know what, some of you guys that's not dating, some of you guys this could be like, maybe you're, maybe you've taken a break from social media, maybe you're back on, you know, it's something like that here, where you're being seen again, all right? What's the little fortune about? <clears throat> What's the little of fortune about? Temperance, Judgment, the Ten of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Interesting. Some of you guys, I feel like you've moved on. You've leveled up in a lot of ways here, financially, physically, spiritually, okay? You've moved out of this Five of Pentacles energy. It says it all right there with the Six of Swords um, and the Ten of Pentacles, all right? I feel like you guys are working on building your empire here. Um... And I think that that's working out in your favor with this Wheel of Fortune showing up here, okay? Um, I feel like some of you guys are moving towards your calling as well. Fate and destiny with temperance and judgment showing up here as well. I feel like you guys are being pushed in a certain direction here. Um, now that there's nobody in your way, okay? Uh, but I do feel like someone else, this, this Nine of Wands energy is not yours, but it's the overall energy of your reading. And I think it's this person you were connecting with here in the past. I do feel like somebody feels left behind here, even though um, I almost feel like they left themselves out, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like this person took themselves out of the situation. They removed themselves from the equation here is how this feels to me. And I almost feel as if this is because they felt like they could be in this energy of moving back in. Uh, but I almost feel like for some of you guys, this person could have already tried to come back around here because you do have the Six of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune both present in the same spread. Um, the Six of Cups can be a card of like walking away from the past or reminiscing. Um, and then you've got the Wheel of Fortune, which can be a return, okay? So I feel like somebody has returned here um, already, but I do feel like maybe some of you guys have ignored this with the Four of Cups showing up. So I almost feel as if with Judgment and the Temperance card showing up and the Ten of Wands, it almost seems to me like someone expects you to make something right here. Temperance, someone's waiting on that to happen. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, it's because it's happened so many times before. It's a cycle that you've repeated, but I don't see you going back to that, all right? Um, some of you, again, I feel like you could be dealing with a really... Um, I don't know. I, I feel a really manipulative energy off of this Five of Swords. Um, this can be uh, an energy of mind games. It can also be someone who will win at all costs. So I do feel like there could be someone here who's kind of putting a burden on you, putting the blame on you. Uh, do not fall for that, okay? So that's something that I feel is happening here with you guys. And don't fall for it because you put in the work on this once before and it didn't get you anywhere. You put your best foot forward so you are allowed to move on, you know, knowing that, right? With the Judgment card being here and the Temperance card, I feel like this person's waiting on you to make things right again. Uh, I don't know what that's about, but no, you've already done this once. Uh, so I feel like this is because they're being ignored. They want some kind of explanation here. I don't feel like they gave this to you though. What's going on with the four of wands? 
<laughs> what is going on with the Four of Wands here for Leo? Some of you guys have moved on to a new connection. That could definitely be why this person's trying to weasel their way back in here. But I do feel like overall, uh, you guys have met some or have uh, run into something here that's a perfect match for you. You're making things happen. This could be in work or business. This could be in love. All right. But I feel like this person is seeing that because, like I said, I feel like you're back on the scene. So um, I feel like they're recognizing that you're making things happen here and they're trying to move in. There is just a really emotionally manipulative energy here with this uh, queen of cups and the eight of swords could be a cancer or a gemini but i feel like there's someone here who wants to keep you stuck on them because that gives them some kind of ego boost all right again they like being on this pedestal all right but i feel like you're putting yourself on that pedestal now so i like this a lot actually okay uh so yeah no apologizing here just keep moving on you know to that two of cups to whatever this is it's a perfect match for you all right um so man leo <laughs> I hope that was helpful. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me. And you guys have a great month. Bye.